Hi, boys and girls. It's me again, Mrs. Gordon. And welcome back to another reading of Goodnight Lowndes County. Today's book, we're going to stay with science. And today's book will be the Bermuda Triangle. Have you all ever heard of the Bermuda Triangle? Well, it's sort of a triangle. But we're going to talk about the unexplained mysteries of the Bermuda Triangle. We're going to read about the unexplained mystery of the Bermuda Triangle and various incidents of people disappearing within the area. Yes. Look at our table of contents. The table of contents is where you will find each one of these topics on boys and girls. Lost at C, page four. What is the Bermuda Triangle, page eight? Is there an answer, page 14? We will find our glossary on page 22. To learn more, 23, and the index is 24. Lost at sea, a pilot takes off from a Florida airport. He flies toward the island of Bermuda. Suddenly, his instruments begin to fail. In other words, quickly, all the switches you see on the dashboard of the airplane begins to fail. That's scary. The pilot calls air traffic controllers for help, but his radio cuts out. Soon his plane disappears from the radar. Is he lost in the Bermuda Triangle? Air traffic controllers, who do you think they are? Yes, those are the people who sit in the towers of the airports and monitor all the air traffic in the sky. Can you believe airplanes travel just like cars on the street? And the air traffic controllers make sure that the planes are always on radar to keep from having accidents in the air. No one wants to have an accident on the ground. You definitely don't want to have an accident in the air. What is the Bermuda Triangle? The Bermuda Triangle is an area of the Atlantic Ocean east of Florida. It stretches northwest, northeast to Bermuda and south to Puerto Rico. Many strange things happen there. What's in a name? The Bermuda Triangle has many nicknames. Others include the Devil's Triangle and the Sea of Lost Ships. Hmm. I wonder why it's called those nicknames. Can you guess why? Ships have disappeared in the Triangle for hundreds of years. Ghost ships have also been found in the area. They sail the sea with no crew. Hmm. Sail away. The USS Cyclops is one of the most famous lost ships. It was missing with over 300 people on board. Went into the Bermuda Triangle and it disappeared, boys and girls. Many planes have also been lost in the Triangle. Flight 19 is the most well-known disappearance. These five Navy planes vanished in 1945 during a training flight. Hide and seek. A rescue plane searched for Flight 19. It was never seen again. So not only do we have the five Navy planes that has gone missing, even the rescue plane disappeared. Is there an answer? Where are the lost planes and ships? Some people believe the triangle is a portal to another world. A few believe aliens have captured the vehicles. So in other words, people think that the triangle has this big old hole that sucks up all the planes and all the ships and takes it to another dimension or another world. Or even the aliens have it. And keep in mind, aliens are also out of this world. So we don't have a direct answer. Those are just people's opinions, right? Many people look for simpler answers. 
Stormy weather could cause planes and ships to go down. Human error or rogue waves might also be to blame. A rogue wave is not a crook. A rogue wave is a wave that is treacherous when it's on water. That means that it's hard. And when it hits against a ship or a plane, it causes all the instruments to stop working. And it just crashes and the boats and the plane does what? They crash. Skeptics think there is nothing mysterious about the Bermuda Triangle. Thousands of ships and planes travel there. Few have had problems. Walk the plank. Pirates once sailed in the Bermuda Triangle. It is possible they sank some of the ships. Hmm. So you have people assuming that pirates sunk a lot of the ships. And then you have skeptics or people who are skeptical about things saying that there are thousands of ships and planes that come through here and nothing happened. So, hey, what's the problem? Famous disappearance. Ellen Austin, 1881. The Ellen Austin finds a ghost ship. It sends a crew to sail it back to New York. The two ships are separated during a storm, and when they meet again, there is no crew aboard the ghost ship. The Ellen Austin sends more of his crew to the ship. The ship disappears again, y'all. The USS Cyclops, 1918. The U.S. Navy ship is lost on its way from Barbados to Maryland. A large crew and full load were on board. Flight 19, 1945. Five Navy aircraft disappear in a training flight. A rescue plane also disappears while searching for the lost planes. Witchcraft, 1967. A boat sends a message to the Coast Guard after it hits an object. The Coast Guard searches but finds no sign of the vessel. Piper Navajo, 1978. An experienced pilot is close to landing in the Virgin Islands. Suddenly, his plane disappears from radar. Rescue searches are unable to find any pieces of the plane. Flight 201 in 1984. A small Cessna airplane slows and crashes into the ocean between Florida and the Bahamas. No sign of the plane is found. Ooh. Something to think about, right? We're going to stay out of the Bermuda Triangle. We can only guess what has happened inside the Bermuda Triangle. Do pilots and sailors enter another world? Or are they the victims of bad weather? A victim, boys and girls, is when something has happened or a person who has been hurt or devastated or killed in a disaster or some sort, okay? What do you guys think about the Bermuda Triangle? I found it very interesting. And if you would like to know more about it, do some research on your Chromebook. Go to Google and type in Bermuda Triangle and see all the fascinating stories and more pictures or illustrations and listen to other authors talk about the Bermuda Triangle. You will love it, boys and girls. Here's your glossary with all your stories in it, all of your vocabulary words. And I hope you use these vocabulary words, boys and girls. Please use the words. And you also have your index to find anything inside the story that we've talked about. If you want to go back and read over some more stuff, okay? I really hope you enjoyed listening to me read the Bermuda Triangle. Please do some research, boys and girls, and find out some interesting facts for yourself. There's nothing better than a student who reads and gather information for themselves. As always, until next time, boys and girls, this is the end. And don't forget to take the AR test. Until next time, bye-bye.